I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them, baby, like a mules. Play them like the ones and twos. Bow, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby. Olympody. And I'm back here on the on the Chetty Bobby 1130 channel. We're going to do a movie review for you guys and gals. I'm doing a 31 Days of Horror on the Triple Flicks Mafia channel, but I'm going to randomly be doing movie reviews on this channel as well as collection updates, um, haul videos, mail day, um, uh, top we'll do countdowns as well, movie countdowns. So stay tuned for that. If you've not subscribed to the Triple Flicks Mafia channel, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm going to be reviewing a movie that just dropped on Netflix yesterday. It's one of them Adam Sandler movies, and it's called Hubie Halloween. We'll throw the the poster up on the screen. This was released yesterday, which was October the 7th. This is October the 8th, and I'm recording this. It's directed by Stephen Brill. Stephen Brill directed a few movies from Adam Sandler. He directed The Shit Tur that was Sandy Wexler. He directed um, Mr. Deeds, which I wasn't a fan of. He directed Little Nicky, which I wasn't a fan of. He did direct Heavyweights, which I th is one of my favorite movies ever. Um, it was written by Adam Sandler and Tim Her Herlihy. And um, it's just saying, despite his devotion as a hometown in his hometown of Salem and his Halloween celebration, Hubie Du Bo uh, Bois. Um, is a figure of mockery for kids and adults alike, but this year something is going to bump in the night and it's up to Hubie to save Halloween. Adam Sandler used to be so funny, bro. He used to be so funny. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Wedding Singer, Big Daddy. Um, but over the last three or four years, since this whole Netflix deal happened with him and them. He is just churning out shit turd after shit turd. And sporadically, he'll throw in one of them comedies, romantic comedies that are pretty that are okay. Um, just go with it. Um, blended um, and and a few others here and there. Murder Mystery was okay. This one was a pile of shit, man. And I watched it because I'm it's a 2020 film. I had some time to kill before work. I woke up earlier than normal. So I said, let me watch this movie, man. This movie was horrible, bro. And, it, and I'm not saying that I'm surprised because it's a Happy Madison movie. And most of them are horrible now. But this one was just terrible, man. Sandler's not funny anymore. I don't even see who this is funny to unless you're eight years old. Um, the, the humor in it was not good. It wasn't written well. Even for like a silly like comedy and you got your classic, you got your same Happy Madison cameos. You got Kevin James. You got Julie Bowen, who plays the main girl in this, who was in uh, Happy Gilmore. Um, and she's mysteriously just in love with with um, Hubie. And, and his character is that super annoying, like, Adam Sandler voice where he's like, It's like that, the not funny Adam Sandler. He's like... About as dumb as he was in Waterboy. And it's that same style character. And Ray Liotta's in it. Steve Buscemi, Rob Schneider, Tim Meadows, Maya Rudolph, um, Kenan Thompson. You get an appearance from Shaq. You get a bunch of people in this movie. But this movie was not funny at all, bro. It, it The humor didn't hit at all with me. And I like, and I know it's probably geared more toward it's PG-13 though so don't give me that geared towards kids because it's PG-13 and there was some adult stuff in it so it just didn't hit bro the the story was stupid the cameos weren't funny the writing wasn't good it just wasn't it was just a, another churned out shit turd from Adam Sandler and Happy Madison this is the same guy that was in a year ago was in one of my favorite movies of last year, man. Uncut Gems was incredible to me. I wish Adam Sandler, if he's going to do this kind of shit comedy, I wish he would just not do it anymore and just stick to stuff like Uncut Gems because that was great. Great directing. It was it was a, a 
panic attack of a movie. I thought he was great um, in the movie. I love that movie. And then he makes this, bro. And it's so and, and and the Happy Madison shit. I go in not expecting much, but this was like a one out of ten to me. I hated it. Um, on the thirty one days of horror, we've been doing five star, but we'll just do ten stars over here because fuck it, why not? One out of ten, man. I hated it. I didn't think I didn't laugh one time. It was just not. It was a terrible movie, and it's gotten a five point three out of ten on IMDb and I don't see how because I like stupid comedies man I I can I can find humor in stuff that's geared towards teenagers this was not done well though this was not funny none of none of it made me laugh none of it was it wasn't a cohesive movie at all it didn't flow well it was it was just shit but it was on Netflix and it's definitely in the bottom 3 bottom five of the year but it'll it'll get millions and millions and millions of streams and all that and that's why he turns those out because they don't cost him much probably and it doesn't take him long to make them because they're not done well but people love these stupid movies i just don't but that was hubie halloween <laughs> but uh yeah man y'all be sure to stay tuned i got another i got some more haul uh footage coming in in the next couple of days so just stay tuned we're going to keep hitting y'all with content Thank y'all so much for staying with me, man. Um, I love each and every one of you. Love, peace, and hair grease. Ooh.